If you work in an office space, you're probably familiar with the IP phone. No? How about voice over IP? Still no? Well, basically it's a phone that has a connection through the internet. In this Cisco Tech Talk, we're gonna show you how to create a VLAN for your IP phone network using a Cisco CBS350 switch. Next. First, we need to access our router so we can create some VLANs, also known as virtual LAN area networks, to those who aren't familiar. We'll be using the RV340 router for this example. Under VLAN settings, we see that we have VLAN 1 and VLAN 2. VLAN 2 will be the voice. Next, we'll navigate to VLAN settings under the VLAN management section. Here, we'll add our voice VLAN, set the VLAN ID as 2, and let's give it a name. How about Freddie Mercury for this example? He has a strong voice. Now hit apply at the bottom right and close out. Now that our VLAN's created, we'll navigate to the left side of the screen under VLAN management. First, we'll go to voice VLAN, then properties. We'll change our default voice VLAN default from one to two. This helps our system's smart port. What's a smart port? Glad you asked. It essentially can detect what type of device, for instance, if it's an IP phone, and automatically assign it the VLAN 2. Click Apply. Looking under our Smart Port Properties, we can double check that it is, in fact, enabled. Under Auto Smart Port Device Detection, we can now see that the IP phone plus desktop is checked. We'll navigate to Smart Port Type Settings and see the various values that are assigned depending on what the smart port finds. Let's go back to the VLAN management tab and go to port VLAN membership. Here you can see what it looks like when plugging in a VOIP phone with a desktop daisy chain to port two. With smart port, it automatically changes it to a trunk and we can see VLAN one and VLAN two are assigned. And so the VOIP phone will automatically be assigned to VLAN two. We can look at our router and see if it's been set up correctly. Since we are able to access our router, we'll check the DHCP table to see that our IP address is affirmatively in VLAN 2 with Wi-Fi plugged in. And that's it. Now our IP phone is running on our VLAN using a Cisco CBS350 switch. Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.